Ah, you acquired the components? Yes. I'm looking forward to seeing what you and Gil put together. He's very gifted. If, when we succeed, more of your people can experience our stories as they are meant to be enjoyed. Goda Tavitara. The Lulia Reborn Trilogy. I'm weeping a bit already. Descent is green. Coordinating. Path is calm. Prodromos is suited up and ready to host. Ready for the exchange, Pathfinder. Grab your civvies. Going to get hot. How did you do all this? Well, it didn't take much. A ball, flat ground. Hustle would start games at refugee camps. I didn't get it then, but after the attack here and the shit with Varan's rescue, I wanted to try something. Low tech, what do you think? It's good to get people's minds off of all the crap we go through. Not just that. I didn't do it to distract them. We don't get distracted. We go head on. When it's life or death, you have to. No one's living or dying because of this. They're here because they want to be. I didn't get how important that is. Maybe that choice is how we stop being outsiders. Check the play! Free kick for charging! <laughs> no charge for matchmaking. <laughs> what? Thanks, Liam. For what? Building on what you started? If you like. <laughs> right. Well, you're welcome. Switch up. Ready to get in the game? Yeah. The Pathfinder should make an appearance. Try to keep up, Costa! Don't count on it. I'm complete rubbish. I'm good. You're here. Yeah, so listen, she's only got a minute or two, and she's in rare form today, just to warn you. She's here kick-starting repopulation protocols, reversing the chemical procreation blockers for colonists. Calls it boosting the batter. She's gonna talk your ear off about your civic duty as a man. Then she'll find out what a skillful topic changer I am. Good luck with that. The woman's tenacious. I mean, makes no never mind to me. No chance I'll ever oops a baby into the world. Am I interrupting something? Ah, Jill. About time. This is... Save it. I asked you both to stop by, remember? Ryder, pleasure. I know we're all very busy, so I have only one question for you. Sure, go ahead. What the hell did you do to him? It's like he's an adult or something. He can even have a mature conversation without it degrading into pot shots. Unless I take it there. What's your secret? I sneaked into the stasis pods and switched him with another baby. <laughs> My boy's in good hands. Okay, you're both off the hook. So glad I got to meet you, Ryder. Likewise. So where's your mystery project? Not far. Soil converter. No remnant terraformer, but it makes sandy dirt into something useful. Eventually. Add seeds, some rain, and you've got a garden. That's right. You wanted a garden of your own. It'll take years. I might not even see it. But that's okay. Asari think in centuries. Lay a foundation, then step away. Let it grow into something you might never expect. Pathfinder training was my foundation. Gave me a whole galaxy of directions I could go. I don't need someone else's plan. Just a good beginning. The first seeds of a garden. One I started with my friend. 
What seeds do you have? Desert flowers and grasses from across the Milky Way. Colors we don't even have names for. When they've prepared the ground, roses someday. Ready? One, two, Ascent is go. Leaving Atmel. All clear. I hear Liam's planning to show some vids. If our duties ever give us time. Explains why Drac and PB are distilling something unsavory. Screw up the measurements and bathtub hooch can leave you blind, or worse. We can do better. Better how? An Asari liquor called Acantha. They used to run these wonderful black and white ads. There might be a bottle on the Nexus. It wouldn't be too expensive, I'm sure. Let me know if you find it. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Entering atmosphere, LZ in sight. Here, they were hoping to capture someone. Probably me. Sorry about that. Though, if you'd broken a sweat, I'd be sorrier. You sent us the message about the Salarian Ark? Yes. Major Salen Vaughan, STG. Retired, of course. What's STG? Special Tasks Group. Back home, we were field agents who gathered intelligence and handled... inconveniences. Just say, assassinated people. If you prefer. As I said, these days, I stick with retiree. Espionage is a job that follows you home. Or across galaxies. Until there's nothing for it but to grow a conscience. Let's be frank. There are too many inconsistencies aboard our Ark. They only make sense if someone betrayed us to the Ket. My best suspect is a biologist, Dr. Adden. But the evidence is thin. I need a pathfinder to verify what I've found, or I risk arresting an innocent man. Who's Adden? Why would he betray his Ark? An ex-military biologist from the early wake-up team on our Ark. He claims to be studying the cat. As for why, I intend to ask him. Couldn't Hager help you with this? Hager's too green to be corrupt, but his team's another story. You're obviously trustworthy. If you were involved, you wouldn't have saved our Ark in the first place. All right, I'm in. How do we catch your traitor? I only have two leads left. Dr. Adden's equipment and a cat who might be his handler. I need you and your Sam to analyze them. If we show Dr. Adden's in regular contact with a cat, that would prove he's the one. What if the evidence doesn't implicate Adden? If I'm really that rusty, I suppose I'd have to start over from scratch. Uh, remember Dr. Adden's equipment and his cat contact. This has to be watertight. Good luck. John! John! <laughs> Wait. Is that bad news? No, no. The Pathfinder is interested in where I grew up. Ryder, this is my true mother, Sahuna Amadara. Nice to meet you. I know Ingaro liked the hugging. Giles told me how much he admires you. Really? He's my favorite. Smart, loyal, kind. A great shot. Writes poetry, souls. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> I'm late for a resistance meeting. Stay clear. Your mother's in the resistance? <laughs> yes. And every child is her favorite. Everyone, this is Scott. Hi. Look who the car can drag. Welcome in. back. This is where I spent most of my days growing up. Me, my sister, Guana, our cousin, Etta, and brother, Finn. Then, Bavezil, Rolu. So wonderful to Ejal, have you back. A human. Jal, you bring in someone special to meet us. Wow. 
cozy. We like to live like this. Gonna give your friends some real food? Good to see you. And here's my room. My tiny sanctuary. We have a saying that I like. Home is where the heart is. <laughs> I like that. Oh, no. Who put this here? Schematics? Of... When I was seven, my aunt stole a cat weapon for me. So I took it apart to learn. And that is... was... a carkin. Pet carkin. <laughs> All fit. He died. So I also... took him apart. To... learn? Why not? I never show people these things, but I feel like we're family. It's been good getting to know you. Hey, there's one more thing you might like. Sit there. Been interesting so far. Nice. You made that? Long ago. It's not accurate. More of a dream, really. Just one more thing I want to take apart and figure out. Me too, Jal. Me too. Leaving Avaral. Bridge is yours, Pathfinder. So that message was from an STG agent? One who's convinced your people were betrayed. That's bizarre. What could the cat offer anyone that's worth an arc? Watch your step, Ryder. Back home when STG was involved, things got messy. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Did you get my message? Doesn't matter. I have exciting news. And I wanted to tell you in person. Should I sit down? Is that another idiom? Or... Yes, of course. Do what you like. Yeah, it's an idiom that means... Never mind. I've been offered an advancement in the Resistance. And... My own command. That makes complete sense. Congratulations. Thank you. My family is very proud. And so am I. So when did this happen? Recently. You know that I wasn't satisfied with my position and direction in the Resistance. Or life? True. Very true. Yes. After my successes with you, they see me with new eyes. But more importantly, so do I. So you get your own command? It's a covert squad, tech ops, commanding a small group of elite specialists that infiltrate advanced cat sites. High danger, high reward. That's a hard choice to make. I won't stand in your way. <laughs> That's kind. It was a hard choice. Okay then. Should we head back to Aya? <laughs> what? Why? I'm not taking the position. But that's crazy. It's what you wanted. What I wanted, yes. But not what I needed. Not what I need. With your help, I broke free of expectation. I found my better self. That's one of the nicest things anyone has said to me. Seriously. Good. No, really. You changed too, I think. More open, like a true Angara. Perfect. So, you're stuck with me now. <laughs> At least until this all plays out. Besides, 
You need me. Don't push your luck. But luck can't be pushed. <laughs> it comes to us in... Ah. Idiom. Yep. Shit. I made that <laughs> for you. When you're ready, call and I'll come running. With a surprise. PB. PB? I'm ready for my surprise. Hey, yeah. Come. Join me. Oh, no, no. You don't give the orders here. Whose surprise is this, anyway? Maybe that's the surprise. Even on your back, you keep me on my toes. Let's reenact how we met. Do you know about Asari melding? Our bodies and minds weave together, become one. I've never trusted anyone enough. Never trusted myself. I've got you. You're safe with me. great before, but that was just the tip of the iceberg. This now means so much more. This is where I belong. I'm still trying to make sense of everything we learned at the Remnant City. I can't believe the Angara are... designed. What are the implications? That there's so much we don't know? It's humbling. Well... I came here for mysteries, right? Helios is more and more interesting every minute. Anything you want to talk about before we head back into it? Are we getting together later? Sure hope so. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. So my buddy Jill, who, by the way, can't stop singing your praises, wants to have a baby. And, uh, stop me if you've heard this one before, she asked me if I'd father it. Wow. That's huge. Right? What the hell are you going to do? I don't know. I'm still in the freaking out phase. Would it be totally crazy if I said yes? I don't think it's crazy. I mean, we're already family. I get her, she gets me. And we support each other unconditionally. Wanting to give someone what they want most in the world is love, Gil. I hear you. And you know I've been thinking about it, Ryder. Becoming a dad. I don't want to just be a donor. Bringing a kid into the world wouldn't be enough for me. I'd want to raise the child with Jill. Sounds like you know what you want. Yeah. It's funny, you can think until you're blue in the face. Sometimes you just gotta trust your gut. I just hope you're up for this. Me too. Thanks, Ryder. Or should I say, Uncle Pathfinder. Hey, you. Hey, yourself. Whatever you want, I'm inclined to give. Go ahead. Ask me anything. Are we getting together later? If I have anything to say about it. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it.
You're back. My arrest was a clerical error. Translation, our heroic Pathfinder took an interest, and now you're bad PR. Truth hurts. A Pathfinder can handle the dangers out there. For us ordinary people, it's too much. I want to finish the documentary, take a stand for what matters. But what is that? What's best for the initiative? People deserve the truth. Today and a thousand years from now. Let's give it to them. Okay, have your Sam give me everything it recorded in that remnant city. I'll give them raw footage, uncompromising every challenge we need to overcome. And that will be the grand finale to my documentary. I'm free to take a break with whomever I like. You mean... I hope you still feel that something. I still do. Meet me at Vortex later. We deserve a night out. The others aren't here yet, but it shouldn't be long. The others? Cash and Vorn. If we're gonna teach you Krogan games, we're gonna need more Krogan. I thought you didn't like Vorn. What, just cause I ride him hard? He's smart, real handy with plants, kept the colony alive and going after we left the Nexus. Cash made a good choice there. Not that I had any say in the matter. So, fire-breathing Thresher Maws of Doom. Ah, that's right. Pretty basic game. First one Krogan kids usually play. I've seen vids, and I know Thresher Maws are damn huge, but fire-breathing Thresher Maws of Doom? That sounds like overkill. You'll see, it's great. Right, so, what are the rules? Kids game, remember? It's simple. Burn down all the other pieces on the map, you win. I can work with fire. This is gonna be great. Born's bringing root snacks. Corkro's my favorite. I'll load up the many flamethrowers when the others get here. Well, at least the table is fireproof. I think. Yeah, just don't hit the drinks. Bartender will have a fit. You made it. I ordered some snacks. You like these, don't you? I do, actually. Thank you. And I asked the bartender to signal if you're... if you know who comes by. It's funny, I know so much about you already. I guess this is your chance to get to know me. Then tell me everything, mysterious Miss Tavessa. Like, how did you get into journalism? My parents were ambassadors. I had a misspent youth sailing around the bay and going to fancy diplomatic parties. Thing is, a lot of politics gets decided at those parties. History's made, and no one's watching. One day, I put down my cocktail and picked up a camera. And your parents were just fine with you filming all their important friends? Oh, goddess, no. They disowned me. But it brought me to Andromeda. And to you. I know what this is. Out there, you have another life. But when you come home, maybe we can belong together. Spending more time with someone like you? What more can I ask for? Try asking. I might surprise you. What if we skip out, have drinks at my place instead? What are we having? Whatever you'd like. Did I hear this right? The Angara were made by the remnant creators in that Meridian engine? There's a little more to it. I can barely get my head around this already. But the remnant defenses, those I'm sending people to investigate. Anything that has the Ket running scared is worth looking into. Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. You sure look thoughtful. Just job. thinking about the first time Cash got her hands on a toolkit. Master engineer from the day she was born? Quads, no. She worked hard at it. Let's see, the first time, yeah, was our power generator. She took it apart. <laughs> With the blunt side. Wouldn't that cause shorts or something? She liked the fireworks. You can imagine what it was like when she figured out that cracking open bigger things made even bigger sparks. Ah, Ryder. Grab a seat. So yes, after that, the Ketch tightened security. I've only just got back. The idea of Solarians figuring out exaltation must keep them up at night. A comforting thought. It's satisfying to wipe that smug look off Ket faces. I meant to thank you for the star maps. You're welcome. Between us, charting the Scourge and Rider's Vault data, the Ket will run out of bolt holes. I'll send you our latest. 
I'll take a copy as well. Anything to expand the search grid. Still hunting down the stasis pods. And finding them. Having a partner AI makes one hell of a difference. I guess I need to train a successor. And figure out how to prepare them. Better to find your wings as you fly. Worked for us, didn't it? There's only one way to find out what kind of Pathfinder you are. Ha. <laughs> guess so. For now, friends, I need your help. The first wine bottled in Andromeda, sent back to the Nexus. Well, good thing I brought my flask. Damn, that smells good. Seemed worthy of our first proper meeting together. If we have a toast. To our crews, our Sams, and each other. May we always find our path home. Ryder, as I said before, you have more than proven your mettle as a Pathfinder. You stand on the threshold of greatness. If Meridian is everything you believe, our salvation is near. I always knew great things were in store for you. Did you have some other business? That's all. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. I see great things in our future. Ah, Ryder. Your pilot said you were helping Major Salen Vaughn with an investigation into Dr. Adin. You know Salen? Only by reputation. One of STG's finest back in the day. I tried to help him with Adin, but sort of stalled. What do you make of Salen's theory that someone betrayed your people? It doesn't seem possible, but there's so much that doesn't fit otherwise. I reached out to ARC leadership, the ones who woke up first, but they keep putting me off. I had an idea, but it might not be completely legal. Hey, if we don't break the rules, who will? One of those ARC officers, Rand Lon, has an apartment here. If he's busy, he won't be around. And a quick scan wouldn't hurt anything. Just... see what's there. Uh, what are you doing in my apartment? You must be Rand Lon. Yes. You're the one who saved our Ark. What are you doing here? My fault. I'm visiting a friend, and these doors all look alike. You're quite obviously not here by accident. Now please, explain why you broke in, or I'll have to report this to the Militia. I'm working with Major Salen Varn. He has the paperwork. Salen? Huh. I see. If the Major's at it again, this makes more sense. What do you mean? No, I won't spread rumors. You can go, but I wouldn't break into any more homes on Salen's advice. If I've been misled, I should hear these rumors. The Major is brilliant, but he's just been in STG too long. He's been bothering us with conspiracies since he woke up. It's common in retired agents. They can't navigate a world without espionage. I see. Look, let's forget this happened. For the Major's sake. Goodbye, Pathfinder. What happened to you? Salen? <laughs> Very familiar for our first real meeting. Not funny, Salarian. I contacted you, hoping one of my suspects would do something reckless, and unfortunately, he did. I imagine I was supposed to vanish out here while he used my cloak device. Any Salen you met was Dr. Adden in disguise. Wait, you... He asked me to analyze leads that could implicate him. Let me guess. Adden asked you to scan those leads. I suspected the traitor was hiding messages on optical encoders. Those messages were the real proof I needed, but a powerful scanner like yours would wipe them. Adden used you and uh, my investigation to cover his tracks. Canny bastard. I examined an apartment belonging to a Salarian officer, Rand Lon. The clues there led me to you. Interesting. That confirms my suspicions. Everything comes back to our arc. Adam didn't have the clearance to alter logs or affect the NAV computer, yet he's obviously guilty. I suspect 
Adam is the front man for a conspiracy involving the cat. He's the key to blowing it open. Right. Except Adam got rid of anything we had on him. And I'll bet Rand Lon has disappeared. Adam. Ah! He forgot the dart he poisoned me with. Still in there, with the ballistics intact. Contact Adam. Feign ignorance and ask for a meeting. I'll be there to arrest him. We'd need somewhere to meet Adam. Somewhere neutral. There are caves on Kadara that might be suitable. Send the word. There you are. Did you investigate those leads? I learned you're a cat collaborator and a murderer. Who's one victim short? Oh, it's true. Old spies really do live forever. This old spy would punch you if he wasn't <clears throat> carrying evidence in his chest. I tried to give you a decent burial, Major. There was no time to convince you of our cause. Save it, Adden. You betrayed your people. You'll never see daylight again. My people agreed to this. Several of us woke early, prepped the Ark, and then we found the Ket, an unstoppable enemy. So we made a pact. Sacrifice our Ark to the Ket and learn their secrets, so one day we could destroy them along with their exaltation. Hey, I know how not to get exalted. Get ourselves exalted, you idiot. Listen, there is an empire of Ket beyond Helios. All-powerful conquerors who will invade us eventually. The secrets we learn could stop our extinction before it begins. Give us our freedom, and they're yours. Don't let this go to waste. What exactly are you offering? The intricacies of the Ket Empire. Vassals, potential weak points, exaltation secrets. Which we can't confirm. And you could have pulled out of your cloaca. We had to sacrifice civilians for this, Major. Will you let that be for nothing? Put this traitor where he belongs, Major. I've got suggestions if you need them. Arrest me, and you'll never find the others. I've got nothing but time to look. I'm retired, remember? I owe you big for this rider. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, uh, I need a militia pickup, the doctor, and the biggest drink on the Nexus. You were right. The view is great from up here. We're not even to the top yet. Come on, I'll race you. A race? Up this cliff? Less talk, more climb. Let's go, Pathfinder. And no jump jets. No one likes to cheat. All right, that's it. I'm gonna show you how it's done. You can try. Pride goeth before a fall. Having fun? <sighs> Told you I'd show you. Oh, I am well and truly shown. Wow. It's all going to be like this, huh? No. Better. For 14 months I wondered if I'd made a mistake coming here and dragging my sister with me. I don't wonder anymore. Boarding the Tempest that day was the best decision I ever made. It's been a wild ride, huh? Wouldn't exchange it for any other. That's what the Salarian Ark was worth to our officers? Thousands of lives for maybe a future advantage against the Ket? You're a better person than I, Ryder. I'd have toasted Adin in our thruster exhaust. But at least the dead and their families have some justice. Need anything else? I'll let you concentrate. You know where hey, I'll Ryder. be. What are we going to do if Meridian isn't what we expect? What do you mean? What if it isn't where it's supposed to be? Or it doesn't work the way we think it does? 
Let's not worry about things we don't know yet. It's just we never really know what we're going to get with this remnant stuff. I've been going back and forth. Glee one second, worry the next. If it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Learn that the hard way. The hard way is how we win. Every time something goes wrong, we learn a little more. More about the cat, more about the remnant. It's never a waste. Whatever happens, let's try to have fun doing it. Haven't we so far? Two galaxies. One bottle of Acantha, barely opened. It's medicinal, you understand. Cuts down hangovers, which will save PB and Drax from grief. Of course. Thank you, Ryder. Would you ask Liam when we're doing this? I've got a couple of things to finish up. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. I say, let's enjoy a few movies. And everyone else says, no, let's have an extravaganza with all the trimmings. You're complaining? No. Well, maybe, because now I need to do it all justice. You got me a decent library, but... I heard someone has a director's cut of Last of the Legion. The band version. Remastered. No crappy extras added for the Hannah. And you want me to look for it? It'd be the gold-dusted cherry on your Sunday. In the meantime, I'll get things set. We're more than ready for a night in. Last of the Legion. This is what you wanted, right? Wait, you actually found it. That version's practically a myth. I'll tell everyone to grab food. Jarl and Gil said they can rig something up in your quarters. If you need a minute to clean up, no problem. Just hit the console when you're good to go. They need you, Jorax. I know you left the Legion. I never left the Legion. It left me. But I know my duty. All right, folks, we can sit through a training montage with what many critics describe as excessive Turian flexing. No such thing. There really is. Or we can fast forward to a ship crashing into an asteroid crashing into a moon. Fast forward to the crash. Ah, oh, montage. Don't cut bits out. I'd go for the crash. Forwarding to the action scene, going once, going twice. Skip to the good stuff, Liam. Boo! But it's a vacuum. The ship explosion would be silent. I hope that's not the voice of experience talking. Guess they wanted their money's worth. They actually blew up a derelict for that shot. Too bad the script wasn't caught in the blast. My strike team will hit the enemy cruiser, General. Force is the only thing fanatics understand. Why a strike team? Torpedo the cruiser! That's overkill. Get one engineer aboard, cut life support and engines, problem solved. And leave them stuck on a hostile ship? One torpedo, over by lunch. For either sensors, spacewalk on the hull, cut life support, repel in, and take them hostage. Done it. Less exciting than it sounds. Seriously? Got the scars to prove it. I assumed you'd got that falling off a bar stool. <laughs> Speaking of, time for another round. Anyone for a Varen's jaw? Or are euphemistically delicious? Wait! Lesson!
Barabbas. No! Ugh, he was a sidekick. They die like goldfish. No acting like overacting. Even Ryder could do better. If I wanted to. Don't make me dare you, dearest. Come on, show us. I'll be dead for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It... it isn't fair. He was so young and... Solarian. He had so much to give! <sighs> oh. Ryder. I can't feel my... I can't feel my gallbladder. Do, do you even have a gallbladder? Oh no. It's worse than I thought. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> No. Damn you! Damn you all! Let's stick with the overacting Turian. I swear to love you. A thousand times, a thousand stars. Oh, Jorax. So many years lost. We were so foolish. Our hearts are one. No enemy fleet, no sea of stars can ever separate us again. <laughs>